Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk about a newly launched product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is, surrounding the table in front of me, the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur. It comes in eight shades and is $35 each. I picked up 50% of the collection, so four shades. We're gonna try them on, talk about them, and I will give you a definite, I've played with them for about two days now, I will give you my absolute opinion on these. I have a very, very opinionated opinion. Uh, at the end of this video after the montage of me trying them all on. Huge shout out and thank you to Veronica, a member of our community, who let me know these were available uh, when I was patiently waiting for them. I didn't realize they were out and released and she gave me the heads up. Thank you so much, Veronica, and I was able to get them soon. She and I also had a fun conversation, I wish you all could have been in on, about the fact that lipsticks now claim to blur. It used to be that our face powders were the only thing that claimed to blur, and then our concealers blurred, and now our blushes blur and our lipstick blurs. We all want to be blurred. We all want to take the camera lens of reality and smear some Vaseline on it, I guess, uh, like they used to do in the old days. We all want that kind of blurred type of filter IRL in real life, I guess. But this is now a lip blur, and it's one of many lip blurs that have been released. Charlotte Tilbury's version of lip blur is to say that she has a liquid, cushiony matte lipstick that can be worn, she says, blurred or bold. Blurred, she means taking, I'm holding, by the way, I'm holding the honey blur. We're going to look at all the shades I have in a moment, two different lights. Um, taking this doe foot, which is essentially just a liquid lipstick doe foot, and she means that you can put it in the inner part of the lip and pat it out with the finger. You'll see that in the demo, blurred. And then you could just apply it full on and wear it, as she says, bold. Um, now, you are probably thinking to yourself at home, couldn't you do that with any liquid lipstick or any lipstick, to be fair? Yeah, yeah, it's a marketing. But you know, it does work and it is pretty. So this is really pretty and easy to wear blurred, but you know, could you do essentially that sort of a stain or ombre look with anything that you already have in your makeup wardrobe? Well, obviously, yeah. But you know, this does work really well for it. This is supposed to be um, lightweight and uh, airy, cushiony, matte, but still moisturizing. And I will say all of that is quite true. And with eight shades, I do, I will do this spoiler alert. I think this product performs really, really well. All right, let me tell you what I got and then we'll look at them. I picked up the Honey Blur. I picked up the Pillow Talk Blur, had to of course. The Rose Blur, because anything with the word rose in it gets me. And the Walk of No Shame Blur. Why? Because I fall into the psychological trap of wanting to be a collector of everything that has Walk of No Shame on it. Now, <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury is a lip genius. She made her name really, uh, her household name I should say, with lip products. I mean, Pillow Talk was a lip liner before it was a lipstick. She was known even though we think of her for blush and foundation and, you know, com complexion products and eyeshadows and mascara, really it was the lips that made Charlotte Tilbury. That is her fort, so to speak. So I only expect the best from her. And with only eight shade choices, we have quite the range. Now you might notice I did not get the red as so many of you probably did. I, I'm not a big wearer of red lipstick. I get compliments when I wear red, but the darkest I went here was Walk of No Shame. That was my homage to red. Um, but you can tell me what you think. Let's first look at these shades that I picked up first in studio lighting. Here we have left to right. We have Honey Blur, Pillow Talk Blur, Rose Blur, and Walk of No Shame Blur. For those of you new to the Charlotte Tilbury world, that used to be Walk of Shame. Um, which actually I liked better and so many of us did. But now we have to take the shame out of the walk of shame and make it the walk of no shame. Whatever, it's still a pretty shade. All right, let's take them outside into the warm California sunshine where we have, once again, honey blur, pillow talk blur, rose blur, and then all the way towards my wrist, walk of no shame blur. Now I want to go try these on and what I'm going to do in the montage is I will start off each shade wearing it blurred as Charlotte Tilbury refers to it. That means putting it into the center of the lip and working it out with the finger and then in the demo I will apply it bold as Charlotte Tilbury refers to it meaning put it all over the lips with the doe foot. 
It is creamy, it is matte, it is comfy, and it definitely, definitely stains. Uh, here is the Walk of No Shame blur that I'm wearing right now. And I got a little bit on my hand because I just applied it, but not much. And I have been working with these for a few days. After it kind of calms down, it will last through a lot without feathering or bleeding, which is really, really nice. We'll talk about application and thoughts on that and how you can wear it after the montage, so stay right there. Okay, what shade did you like on me the best? This is still the Walk of No Shame, and it is worn boldly um, rather than blurred, but I still blurred out the edges a little bit. Um, this has a very, very creamy but matte feel. It's extremely cloud-like and comfortable, kind of like if the Gucci or the Too Faced blushes were a liquid lip. That's the best way I could describe it. Very comfy, very cushiony, um, easy to work with. Now the darker shades, and you'll notice in the montage actually, I shouldn't point this out, but I will. Um, the rose and the uh, Walk of No Shame shades, the one I'm wearing now, um, I think they probably cracked a teeny bit on um, some of the lines at the very top of my lip during the montage because I did it so quickly. But as you see, I don't have that now. Uh, what I like to do with these, and I've already played with them enough to know that, is I like to put them on as the blur, like this site explains. Put them in the middle and just kind of tap them out a little bit with the fingers. Um, then apply it more over the top, and then I like to go in with, and you guys know this, hold on, I'll get it for you to show you. I so then like right to there. go in with any sort of a dense eyeshadow brush. I have, I'm a broken record with this. I've been telling you guys this for a while. This is just my method. And I go ahead and I blur those lines just to make sure that there's nothing um, that's settling into any sort of line or creating any kind of a look, I kind of a look like that. And I just spread it out. This is just with the darker shades and now it's set and ready to go. Um, you can eat through it. It has a great longevity. I've been, I played with them yesterday and wore them for about five hours, no problem. I've had this look on for hours now, no problem, it stays. It's very comfy and not drying, nor does it give that questionable, are my lips dry feeling? It's a really comfy feeling. I don't feel like I need to put a gloss over it. You know, with so many matte lipsticks, you're like, oh, it's nice, but I'll just throw on a little gloss, you know, because you're looking for that comfortable feeling. I don't have that here, so that's really, really nice. I'm enjoying the way they feel. They're very, very cloud-like, but the darker shades, you do need a, it didn't take me forever, but I did have to take this just to kind of get any of those lip lines worked in there. So the darker the shade, the slightly fussier it is, slightly. Not to me, that's kind of a, a no-brainer. That is to be expected. With any sort of a darker lip shade, you're gonna need to do a little bit of touch up, just a little bit, but it really is just a little bit. I find them very comfy, long-lasting. I think they're a really good product. Are they a product to fill a gap in your makeup wardrobe? Um, No. No, I mean, do you have a million other products like this? Yeah. Do you have a million other products like this that are as good? No. I think this is actually quite a good performing, nice product. Um, the colors are pretty. They're nothing new. The idea of it is nothing new. In order to blur a lip, you could do that with whether it's a cream lipstick, um, a liquid lipstick. You could, you could put lipstick in the middle of your lip and tap it out with any shade. This is no surprise. It's a marketing technique, but I do think it wears comfortably and beautifully. So I sound like I'm um, 
putting down the product, not at all. I actually think it's quite a nice product. I don't think it's revolutionary, but if you are a Charlotte Tilbury fan, like I am, and you like a nice, comfy, creamy matte lipstick um, that's also easy to wear and lasts a long time, I think you'll be quite happy with these. I will be trying them out with a little bit of gloss over them, but I don't feel I need the gloss which like I said, is kind of a new experience. So I actually think these are quite, quite nice. I have picked up, as you know, four shades, but I just might go back and get some more, including that red that I skipped. Who knew? All right, so let me, you know, let me know what you guys think. Did you pick any of these up? Did you get any of the four shades I did? Or did you go ahead and get that red and should I get it too? Let me know whatever it is that you are thinking. That's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come on over and say a big hello on Instagram and TikTok too. And don't forget that you can become a bigger part of this community by becoming a channel member or by giving super thanks. When we reach 15,000, we will have a large community live. So make sure you're subscribed, big giveaways and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, that's to be scheduled and announced pretty darn soon. So sub if you haven't, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.